so big. Garden Clitties. Hi, library friends. It's me, Miss Kath. Hello, how are you? And welcome back to So Big. Let's sing our Hello, How Are You song. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Welcome back to another week where we're going to be singing and talking and reading about garden critters. This week we have a story about a snail. This is what a snail looks like. You might have seen these in your garden. Snails can be pesty garden critters because they like to eat your garden plants. If you have a snail in your garden, you might have a slimy, silvery trail along the ground or on your leaves, or if you have garden stones, that's how you know a snail was there. Or if you see the leaves all eaten up, that could be a clue also. Let's get our wiggles out. I wiggle my fingers, I wiggle my toes, I wiggle my shoulders, I wiggle my nose, now no more wiggles are left in me. I'm as still as still can be. Today's story is called Snail Crossing by Corey R. Tabor. Do you see Snail's trail? That's that slimy silvery trail that snails make when they crawl around. One lucky day, Snail was out scooting around when he saw the most beautiful sight. Here's his trail too. A field of plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the road. Snail had been traveling for some time when he decided to take a break. Why, I must be nearly there, thought Snail. Well, let me tell you, snails move very, very slowly. So even though he felt like he had gone a long way, he still had a very long way to go. He was watching the grumbling gray clouds when he felt something coming his way. What it was, Snail couldn't say. Some things are too big and fast for snails to ponder. Well, you won't stop me, said Snail to the thing. Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing could stand in his way. Do you see the little ants marching along after Snail? Hey, you! You're standing in our way! We've got a road to cross here, yelled a troop of rowdy ants. And they probably would have carried on like that if it hadn't started to rain. Rain! cried the ants. Help, help, help! Cabbage bound or not, Snail couldn't just leave them there. Come in, said Snail. Come in before you drown. So he's inviting the ants to stay in his shell for a little bit to stay dry from the rain. Oh, it's dark inside Snail's shell. Tea? asked Snail. Oh, please, thank you. That would be lovely, said the ants. Click. We're sorry about earlier. Terribly sorry. Sometimes we get a bit antsy, said the ants. Oh, I know the feeling, said Snail. And he told them all about the plump, crisp cabbage just across the road. Hmm, said the ants. Hmm. 
Look inside Snail's shell. He has a living room and a kitchen. When the rain stopped, the ants said, thank you, thank you, thank you, and goodbye. Well, I hope you'll come back soon, said Snail. Count on it, said the ants, and off they went. Now, where was I, said Snail to himself. Ah, yes, Snail was cabbage bound. Nothing can stand in his way. Snail was scooting right along when he noticed something standing in his way. Lunch, said a hungry crow. Oh no. Well, you won't eat me, said Snail. Can't you see I'm cabbage bound? Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. And look, he's going in circles to try and stay away from Mr. Crow, who is looking at him as a tasty, juicy lunch. Honk, honk. That was the horn from the truck. And just like that, the hungry crow was gone. Snail was very relieved, but a little dizzy from all that spinning. Look, he went around and 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 around. He's singing a little song. Cabbage bound, I'm cabbage bound. Head in the clouds, foot on the ground. <laughs> Snail scooted and scooted and scooted and hooray, I made it. But where was the cabbage? Oh, well, shoot, said Snail. It looks like he spun around and spun around and spun around and got turned the wrong way and went back to the wrong side of the road. Where's the cabbage? On the other side, he never made it. Oh boy. But what was that on the horizon? Could it be? It was. The cabbage was coming to snail. Huh? How is that happening? Let's see. Hooray, said Snail. Snail bound, we're snail bound, sang the ants. Look, the ants are carrying the cabbage to snail. Oh, how nice of them. Thank you, he said to the ants. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Then the new friends went inside for cabbage soup and tea and no one felt antsy at all. <laughs> oh, and here's the snail trail, and the snail trail spells out the end. Well, since we just read a story about snails, let's do our five garden snails poem. We have our five garden snails. I'm gonna put them on my arm so that we can count them. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five. Now let me get my birds ready. Because remember in this poem, there are some birds who are hungry and they're looking for some juicy snail snacks. Five garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a yellow bird and flew away with one. Let's count how many are left. One, two, three, four. Four garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a purple bird and flew away with one. How many are left? One, two, three. Three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a red bird and flew away with one. Let's count how many are left. One, 
two. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a good green bird and flew away with one. One left, one garden snail sleeping in the sun. Along came a bluebird. Now there are none. Has anybody seen any worms in their garden yet? You have, that's great. I found this guy hanging around. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Worm. He's gonna help us sing our worm song. Ready? Awesome. There are worms, there are worms in their garden underground. There are worms, there are worms and they tunnel all around. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms. Worms, worms, worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms. Worms, worms, worms in the ground. Again? There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they tunnel all around. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms. Worms, worms, worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms. Worms, worms, worms in the ground. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Mr. Worm. All right. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Let's sing our ladybug song. Remember our red ladybug with the black spots on its back? These are helpful critters because they eat all those pesky aphids in the garden. Here's a ladybug eating a juicy green aphid. We don't like the aphids in our garden because they eat our plants. But the ladybug takes care of that. When the ladybug takes off to fly, it opens up its shell like this and sticks out its wings so it can fly away. So we're gonna do that while we sing our helpful ladybug song. We're gonna make the ladybug shells open up. I'm gonna do it this way. Can you do that? Let's sing Helpful Ladybug. <laughs> hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Fly high up in the sky. Hey, helpful ladybug. Fly down low in the garden. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. You help me in the garden. Hey, helpful ladybug. You eat a pesty aphids. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Did you make your ladybug shells move? Who remembers another pesty bug that we might find in our garden? Or sometimes we see him in our yard. I'll give you a hint. He has very strong legs and many times he's a bright green color. Here he is, green grasshopper. Do you see his long, strong legs? They help him to jump really far. In fact, if you were to try to catch a grasshopper, he could probably jump away from you very fast and it would be very hard to catch him. Let's sing our green grasshopper song. And in this song, you get to be a grasshopper and you get to jump up and hop. When we sing hop, hop, you're going to get up and hop. Ready? Green grass hopper, hop, hop, hop. Green grass hopper, hop, hop, hop. Your legs are so strong, your jump is so long. Green grass hopper, hop, hop, hop. 
Now let's make a chomping motion for the grasshopper eating our garden plants. Green grasshopper, chomp, chomp, chomp. Green grasshopper, chomp, chomp, chomp. I know you're hungry, but leave the veggies for me. Green grasshopper, chomp, chomp, chomp. Let's go back to hopping. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Your legs are so strong, your jump is so long. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Let's get our bee friend. Here she is. Do you remember how bees are helpful in the garden? Mm-hmm. Let's see, where's our flower? They fly from flower to flower at gathering pollen on their bodies and their legs. I think I have a picture of that. I do. And then when they fly to another flower, they spread it around and that helps flowers form fruits and vegetables. Thank you, helpful bee. Let's sing Dancing Bumblebee. I'm a happy, snappy, buzzy, fuzzy dancing bumblebee. If you want to have some fun, then buzz along with me. We'll buzz around the garden flowers flying on the breeze, pollinating vegetables, fruits, and all the trees. I'm a happy, snappy, fuzzy, buzzy dancing bumblebee. Again. I'm a happy, snappy, fuzzy, buzzy dancing bumblebee. If you want to have some fun, then buzz along with me. We'll buzz around the garden flowers flying on the breeze, pollinating vegetables, fruits, and all the trees. I'm a happy, snappy, fuzzy, buzzy, dancing bumblebee. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> For our last song, we're going to sing about a butterfly. Here's a picture of a pretty butterfly. And I have some butterflies on my cozy couch here. You see that? Butterfly decorations? Let's make the butterfly sign where we cross our arms, hook our thumbs together, and we move our hands like wings. Let's sing Butterfly, Butterfly. Fly, fly, butterfly. Fly, fly, butterfly. Fly, fly, butterfly. Fly up in the sky so high. Now make your wings flitter. Flitter, flitter, butterfly. Flitter, flitter, butterfly. Flitter, flitter, butterfly. Flitter and fly up in the sky. Now come back down to the ground. So today, we have a very fun watercolor snail craft. Grab the craft kit that you picked up from the library and let's get crafting. Come on. In your kit, you have your snail shell, a paintbrush, a paint palette with watercolors, and some extra watercolor paper. You're also going to need a teaspoon, and it's a good idea to have some paper towel and a bucket of water to rinse off your brush. Start by adding two teaspoons of water to each little cup of watercolor, and mix up with your brush. Don't forget to rinse your brush in between each color. Now it's time to paint. After rinsing your brush, you might want to wipe off the extra water on a paper towel. When you're done painting, put your snail aside to dry. You can go back when your snail is dry and add more paint so that your color is really bright. You can paint 
on the extra watercolor paper while you're waiting for your snail to dry. When your snail shell is all dry, you can glue on your little brown snail head. Now it's time to add the wiggle eyes. You don't need glue for these because they stick right on like a sticker. Don't forget to give your snail a little smile with a pen, a marker, or a crayon. So cute! I can't wait to see how your watercolor snails turned out. I hope that you had a good time this week. Come back next time for more Garden Critter stories and more Garden Critter poems and songs. We'll see you soon. Bye, friends.